Hello, and welcome to a video on how to edit server.properties on your Minecraft server. The server.properties configuration file on Minecraft servers allows for a wide variety of changes to be made to edit your Minecraft experience. This video will show you how to access the file and what each configuration field means. The first step is to go to scalacube.com and log into your account. Once logged in, go to Servers and click on Manage Server. Click Manage again. Locate Settings on the left tab and enter it. Find Server.Properties and click Change. We are now at the Server.Properties configuration file. Keep in mind that after any change is made, the server has to be restarted. Spawn Dash Protection determines the length of spawn protection on your server from the spawn point. The minimum value is 0, and the maximum is 16. Setting it to 0 will disable it completely. Max-Tick-Time equals the maximum number of milliseconds a single tick may take before the server watchdog stops the server. Maximum value is 60,000, negative 1 to disable it completely. Query.Port sets the port for the query server. Generator-Settings is used to customize world generation. Sync-Chunk-Write enables synchronous chunk writes, can be set to either false or true. Force-Game Mode forces the player to join in the default game mode, can be set to either false or true. Allow-Nether allows players to travel to the nether and can be set to either false or true. Enforce-Whitelist enforces the whitelist on the server. Setting it to false means no user gets kicked if not on the whitelist. Setting it to true means online users not on the whitelist get kicked. Game mode sets the game mode for new players. Values are as follows. Survival, 0. Creative, 1. Adventure, 2. Broadcast-console-2-ops sends console command outputs to all online operators. Enable-query enables GameSpy4 protocol server listener used to get information about the server. Player-idle-timeout. After a player is idled for this many minutes, they will be kicked. If set to zero, then players can idle indefinitely. Difficulty defines the default difficulty of the server. Values are as follows. Peaceful, zero. Easy, one. Normal, two. Hard, three. Spawn-monsters determines if monsters can spawn can be set to either false or true. Broadcast-archon-2-ops sends archon console command outputs to all online operators. Op-permission-level sets the default permission level for server operators. PVP enables PVP on the server, can be set to either false or true. Entity-broadcast-range-percentage controls how close entities need to be before being sent to clients. The default value is set at 100. Snooper-enabled sets whether the server sends snoop data, can be set to either false or true. Level-type determines the type of map that is generated. Values are as follows. Default, standard world with hills, valleys, water, etc. Flat, a flat world with no features. Large biomes, same as default, but all biomes are larger. Amplified, same as default, but world generation height limit is increased. Hardcore. If set to true, the server ignores its default difficulty and players are sent to spectator modes if they die. Enable-status makes the server appear as online on the server list. If set to false, it will appear offline to players. However, they can still connect. Enable-command-block enables command blocks and can be set to either false or true. Max-players is the maximum number of players that can play on the server at the same time. Resource-pack-sha1 is optional sha1 digest of the resource pack. Max-world-size. This sets the maximum possible size in blocks, expressed as a radius that the world border can obtain. Setting max-world-size to 1,000 allows the player to have a 2,000 by 2,000 world border. Setting max-world-size to 4,000 gives the player an 8,000 by 8,000 world border. Function-permission-level sets the default permission level for functions. Archon.port sets the Archon network port. Server-port 
changes the port the server is hosting on. Server-IP. The player should set this if they want the server to bind to a particular IP. It is strongly recommended that the player leaves server-IP blank. Spawn-NPCS determines whether villagers can spawn, can be set to either false or true. Allow-Flight allows the players to use flight and can be set to either false or true. Level-Name. The level-name value is used as the world name and its folder name. View-Distance determines the server-side viewing distance. Resource-Pack allows the player to add a resource pack to a server. Spawn-Animals determines if animals can spawn and can be set to either false or true. White-List enables a whitelist on the server, can be set to either false or true. Archon.Password sets the password for Archon. Generate-Structures defines whether structures, like villages, can be generated. Max-Build-Height is the maximum height allowed for building. The maximum for the setting is 256. Online-Mode Server checks connecting players against Minecraft account database. If set to true, the server checks if the player is connected to the internet. If set to false, the server does not attempt to check connecting players. Level-Seed is used to randomize the world generation. If left empty, it is generated randomly. Prevent-Proxy-Connections If the ISP sent from the server is different from the one from Mojang's authentication server, the player is kicked, and it can be set to either false or true. Enable-Archon enables remote access to the server console. Rate-Limit sets the maximum amount of packets a user can send before getting kicked. Setting to zero disables this feature. MOTD. The MOTD, or message of the day, is displayed whenever a player joins the server. This can be customized depending on your requirement. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I have also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.